Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's quite warm out tonight. Today, tonight. <coughs> Can't get my words out. Uh, it's quite warm, um, but it's like cloudy. Not like dark clouds, but a bit cloudy. So I am um, just parked up, ready to go in to to see my CPN. If people don't know what a CPN is, it's community mental health nurse practitioner. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see how that. I parked out some house, so I hope they don't mind. <laughs> and I'm only allowed to park here for about an hour, so I don't know whether I've got 10 minutes to go before I have my appointment. I tried to take my time getting here, so I went to the petal station first. And I did the same thing with the um, door for the, to get to the pump. Uh, take your cap off for your pump. I didn't unlock the doors again, did I? Because my key's not got a battery and it's not working, so I've got to do it like manually. But I then have to go into the car to open up rest of doors. But my son's friend's dad knows how to do that, so it'll save me 50 quid, to be honest, because they're going to charge me. I'll show you the... Oh, too close, one of them. 50 quid they're going to charge me. Oh, it's not probably even... And these spots... <laughs> I don't know why I'm, getting, why I'm getting spots all of a sudden. Never had them as a teenager. I am getting, like, different coloured patches on, you know, like, my skin there's a bit pink and then it discolours. I always get that near summertime. Oh, and I've had the... Been on the phone, or the blower, what people want to call it, regarding... Bullying uh, Olivia at school, so that's got dealt with. Uh, da, 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 da. I am actually thinking about swapping schools to be honest, because this one is not the best, and they're not pro providing her with the help that she needs and medical needs as well. Even though they don't need to change her or do anything like that, they are meant to give her a five or ten minute to get out of class to go and find the next class without getting pushed because it only takes a knock and that thing will fall out and she's meant to carry her emergency kit around but she won't do so I've said well, well if that happens if it falls out just bang a tissue over it uh, you know a good amount and then get teachers to tape it and I'll come obviously with the kit and then we've got to either take her up to her knee or get the nurse out so if she's available so yes so i'm just waiting to go in i might actually go in and use the bathroom first because like always i don't always need a drink but i find when i go to appointments it's big bright <laughs> that i tend to get thirsty quickly and yeah and i think this might be an emotional one today i've got me out this funeral next weekend all the way down in Skegness. I don't know why I'm talking like that. It's the furthest I've ever driven. I mean, I've driven to Carlisle, but that was an easy route. And I've never driven anywhere. And even then, I Googled it and Googled it, you know, on Google Maps, making sure there were no roundabouts. <laughs> oh, God. And it's a Saturday, in it? So it's like, it's going to be super busy on the motorway. My sister doesn't like motorways, so I says, right, well, if I drive... She's going to put towards diesel, which I think is only fair. And I said, you're going to have to tell me. You're going to have to help me on uh, roundabouts because I, uh, as soon as I see a roundabout sign, my heart starts going ten to a dozen. And, yep, I panic. Not, I won't say panic, panic, but me, in my head's going, oh, freaking hell, oh, my God. <laughs> I start crying in my head because... I've always had a fear of them. Even when I learned to drive, um, learning to drive, they never really took me on big roundabouts. And they're the worst ones, there's the big ones, because I never know which lane I need to be in. So I've been Googling, <laughs> Googling now and watching YouTube's uh, driving instructors show you what lane to be in. And I'm like, I forget. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, I'll catch up with you in a bit. I'm just going to go ahead into my appointment and I'll speak to you after. Hi guys, so I'm back from my appointment and just called at the pe petrol station because they have a Greg's there, so I've just got some food but I'm, 
Oh, I feel really, I didn't know what to do with myself, so I didn't want to get up and help, but or what? So I've just driven, but I had to park outside of the car park, uh, on the side of the street because there's been an accident up by me. Uh, a van and a motorcyclist has collided with a van. Um, that's what it looks like. Oh, the vans, it's, I don't know. It, it's, it looks <laughs> look bad anyway. The, the, dry, the motorcyclist was trying to get up off the floor, but... People like, no, you need to lay down, a load of damage. And I'm thinking, oh, do, what do I do? I, my first instinct, I go and help them. But there were so many people around and I'm like, mm, no ambulance in sight, no police in sight. So it's like, where are they? And I know the ambulance are all short-staffed as well. Or are they on strike? I don't know. But seriously, this is when you need them, don't you, the most? I mean... How long he were laying on that floor before I got there, I don't know. But me and Thomas were like, oh my god, that looks serious. And everything, and the fact that people were just driving along, just I know you've they've all got uh, we've all got our own things to do in the day, but I wouldn't be able to just drive by and not stop. Um, but luckily, the lady a lady was driving down. Obviously, must have seen it. She was a nurse. Pulled over and just got out and went over to help. So, yeah. It's pretty warm in here. Oh, it's just the neighbours talking, chatting. So, my appointment went okay with my CPN today. I thought I was going to get. I'll try not to get myself upset, but this medication I'm on doesn't let you... I, I think it just stops you from crying. And uh, I feel like yesterday I had a little bit teary. I was a bit teary. Well, I was teary watching my auntie's videos and stuff. That's how they passed. And now I've just been trying to look for B&Bs down there. Because I thought, you know what, I'm going to get down there and I'm going to be knackered. Because I've never driven a long way. And even though it says it's about an hour and 40 minutes, it's still a bit... Mm. So I've just been looking for B&Bs and it keeps taking me to a Premier Inn and that's on the seafront and I'm just... <laughs> I can't afford the seafront thing. I just want maybe a £30 one. I'm not bothered about breakfast. I just want somewhere to keep. Um, cause, you know, I don't I just want to go there for the one till five and then not talk to the rest of my family you know what i mean so yeah if i park if i can find somewhere to got a car park and then just get a taxi from there to wherever i don't drink so i'm not a drinker so but my sister does i don't know about my other sister i'm not sure if they're going but she'll let me know i just i still can't believe she's gone you don't think it's going to ever happen to your family, do you, until it yeah, actually happens and stuff. But yeah. So my plan today was to go see my mum, but my mum hadn't slept all night, so she told me to come Saturday. A repair guy's been anywhere for the windows, but the fire, fire thing is, fireplace is tomorrow. So, and then I get a letter through the post saying that all, you know, the all the properties around here are getting inspected next week. And the last inspection was meant to get my windows fixed because they're knackered. Um, certain things needed to be done and it's not been done. So, it's been, what, not last year, year before, before COVID. I know COVID stopped a lot of things, but... Yeah, and I'm still trying to find, I even, look, I've been looking at private rents, but even though it said on the news yesterday that landlords have got to think about letting people with animals stay in their property, and yeah, ah, oh, that was my knuckle, I'm tired, that's why I'm daydreaming into the, I can't even get myself, sorry, I, I keep, Drifting off into a world of your own. Well, he's due off from school soon. I was meant to go to my friends for a cup of tea, but little is having a sleep. So, and if she, I'll just have to wait for Olivia to come home. Um, 
Yeah, so I saw an incident in Shipley a bit ago when I leave before, well, well, when I parked up, I was like, we were a dr guy, we were obviously drunk, he could hear him slurring his words and he was falling all over the place. And I saw a police officer coming out and obviously then the guy had done something to the police van. Obviously they'd either seen him on CCTV or he heard him <laughs> or whatever. And at first I didn't think out of it. I thought he's not done. Has he done something to the van? Of it, the only reason why I know he's done something to the van because the coppers were taking pictures of it and they're all staring at it. But he's obviously that blathered that he... <laughs> I mean, I did film a little bit, but I kind of stopped because I thought, no, I thought it's all, it only happens in Bradford. But, you know... It just looked like my dad as well. I'm like, I mm, wonder if it is, but he was too tall. <laughs> but, so, I've just seen something on my Facebook. And if I get it, I will show you it. Do you ever get those deja vu moments? I just have one there. I feel like I've been sat here, doing the same thing, staring away, saying the same thing, well, talking about something, I can't remember. What about? But I see what on Facebook. I can't remember the name. They do bath bombs, but it's CBD stuff. It's like bath salts, and it's like for muscle pain. And I just asked them how much it was. Pretty cheap actually, seven forty nine for the tub, and it helps for people with fibro. And I think at this point I want to try. I'm willing to try anything right now. And I don't usually like to put like bubble baths or salts or whatever in my bath. Last time I put some like salty stuff in my bath, I could obviously not put it in and swished it around. And I sat down and felt all grains on my bum. <laughs> I scratched myself. And it's healthy. So if you, anyone knows of any good B and Bs in Skegness, let me know. Because I've been looking online and, like I say, sorry, I don't, I'm just overtired. Oh. Sorry, I've got so much on my mind today and it's just un, it's unreal. Um, I've been at school to been on at the school today about this bullying malarkey. It's, I said, come on now, it's, this is getting a joke, it needs to stop. She seriously needs to stop now, because she's coming home every day. So she said, she said she's, she goes, but, I, but you can tell when your kids <laughs> just say stuff to me. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't say it back to her, but in my head, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Olivia, you can, I can guarantee she answered half that stuff. I think all kids are like that. They act a bit brave in front of the parents. <sighs> but yeah, I'm like, in my head. There's no way you'd say that, because if you said that someone would plank you on it first, she might tell them to leave her alone, I can think it, but she, yeah, <laughs> she makes me laugh sometimes, that kid. She comes out with her diviness, yeah, and flicks her hair back. She's got no filter, that kid, either, sometimes. She'll say it as it is. And I don't understand why her phone is not automatically taking the ten pound that I pay for a phone a month um for a sim card and I can't get into the account so I'm, it looks like I'm gonna have to order a sorry I'm not doing this on purpose and stuff feel great. Oh it's got a bit cold it was warm earlier and now it's freezing I've just seen a nice cake at my local shop and I'm like, but we ended up going up to Greg's in Sudies and I saw the accident and they had a nice, I want to try the cold vanilla slices. Now, the only reason I want, I've, ne I've always gone, ugh, they look disgusting. But I recently had dessert at my mother-in-law's house. It was like pastry custard and they had like strawberries and I don't like strawberries and I actually ate one and I'm like not so bad when it's with custard but I couldn't eat a strawberry on it I don't like the texture 
we were like in like a jelly sauce or something but i really do want to try a vanilla slice and i saw some and i was going to get one if we were if we we're going to buy something i wanted to try one so i'm, I'm meant to be going to my friends in a minute for a brew might have to pick one up on my way down and save it for when I come home because they were, they were winking at me they were like mm -mm, come and eat me mm -hmm. yummy yummy for your tummy anyway guys I'm going to be and leave you because I've been babbling on now for 10 minutes and I need to go and take my medication for my pain it's about the time I need to take it I'm going to make a cuppa because I've not had one yet well, I had one this morning, but I don't know what else. Oh, yeah, I know what I've done. I tried to do the Asda, you know, the own brand thing, but I know what my kids are like, a certain food, so I didn't go to plan. I got, like, fresh, not fresh fruit, fresh orange juice and stuff like that. And tin, a few tins. I won't, I won't get tins. It won't mush your peas, like, but I'll give it a go. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and whatever else, the notification button. Bye-bye.